morning. I've been lagging in my skincare, which sucks because when I'm on it, I'm on it and my skin just looks amazing. And people are always asking like, what kind of stuff do you use? Because I used to struggle with hyperpigmentation and just kind of like dull looking skin. I've decided to get back on it and I wanted to keep myself accountable by like also filming it. So I like have to do it. So I'm gonna go through just my morning routine because I feel like my nighttime routine, I'm still like tweaking, trying to find exactly what works for me. But my morning routine, I'm pretty like solid in. I just got out of the shower. Thank God, yes, I know. I washed my hair for the first time in like, I don't even wanna admit how long. So in the shower, this versed, scrub day maker micro crystal exfoliator i'm obsessed with it i've repurchased this so many times this is by far my favorite face scrub i've ever tried i do this in the shower and then sarah ford i started getting facials at her place uh a while ago it's been a minute i need to go see my girl jesse again after my first appointment i bought a couple of her products to try and again like we'll never stop repurchasing her gentle enzyme cleanser next level it smells amazing it's gentle very like refreshing so these two this is the power couple for like cleansing your face and then my facialist jesse also told me about this brand pca my favorite product of theirs i'll get to this is definitely my second they have a hydrating toner i've always struggled to find toner because my skin can like flare up like i don't like when they're like burny feeling you know but this guy is like amazing just give a few pumps of it i feel like it just gives you like a blank canvas you know and I don't even know because when people ask me like what's been helping your skin like I feel like I changed a lot of things all at once but I feel like my morning routine is definitely like the MVP right now but see I'm like not like red I mean my skin always gets slightly red but it's like not you know I definitely don't think I've found like my like holy grail eye serum uh, I just bought the autocorrect one from Sunday Riley who I love Sunday Riley and I definitely like it a lot But I haven't used it consistently enough to be able to like full-blown say like oh, yeah This is like a game changer. It's very brightening and light which is something that I like too so far I do really like it this baby right here. This is again from Sarah Ford. It's the Biocell Oxygen Serum. I'm obsessed with this. I'm pretty sure this has like snail mucin in it too. Oh, love her. It's so just like refreshing and creates like a, a good barrier on my skin for the day. But oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. Okay, so yeah, it's like not like sticky, but like there's stuff on it but it's like not bad at all and then just you know following with the trends keeping it simple biocell intensive moisturizer again by sarah ford i'm obsessed with her stuff she's one of those people i would like trust anything she said you know that's what i like about going to see facialists is i feel like they like know your skin and you create kind of like a relationship with them so it helps to find like just the right products for you so there's all moisturized and then I feel like I have tried absolutely every single sunscreen on the planet this PCA sunscreen sheer tint broad spectrum SPF 45 it's water resistant it's tinted it's just like the nicest feel on my skin I don't know if you can see the tint is like not crazy like so you can barely see it and we always wear sunscreen ladies and gentlemen if you're watching okay so there's with sunscreen and everything on like it's definitely dewy but it's not sticky it's very smooth and my makeup goes on really nice with it and then i just i usually just put like a setting powder to matte me out a little bit because i'm not like a huge fan of the very like glossy vibes you know i'm in my 30s now i gotta like protect my skin one of the signs of aging that like i just don't want to deal with neck and chest and like already with my scar i feel like it made my neck look a little more wrinkly so i had a friend <laughs> recommend just gold bond age renew neck and chest firming cream and she said she noticed like a drastic difference so i just started using this i don't want to like say like oh my gosh it like works so well um until i've used it like a fair enough amount of time just rub a little bit on there and then I kind of just massage my face but yes 
that is my morning routine i'm still looking for like a really good like lip product i tried this vaseline lip therapy and it's like the rosy one i like it but i will say like it feels like a little bit waxy which if you like that like thicker feeling then i would recommend this but i don't know i'm still looking for something so if you have any recommendations let me know um but yeah i'm gonna finish getting ready and then guess where we're going <laughs> to the shop so I'm gonna head over there and help out for a few hours um, and my goal tonight is to work on some decorations I got a couple packages from Amazon so I'm excited about that but yeah hello I'm sure you're tired of hearing me say this but I was at the shop all day <laughs> it's like a great problem right like oh there's so many orders we need all this extra help but um, I literally was there from like 12 to like 9 p.m. today just got home and it's kind of perfect because I've been wanting to open all these Amazon packages so I was like oh, I'll just do a little unboxing a little haul ah you know when your ear does that thing where it like all of a sudden will just like itch so anyways I, I dragged out a light but the lighting is not it it's a little yellowy but we're gonna just push through I was gonna say qu quantity or no quality Anyway, if you've been wondering if I'm still obsessed with Amazon, bleh, I have calmed down a little bit just because I feel like I was spending like ridiculous amounts of money. <gasps> oh, for God, I got these. Okay, I was really curious about these. It's like four of these chunky silver rings, but like they didn't even have like sizes on them, so I'm not even sure what's gonna work or not work. Ah. These are cute. There's these two like, uh, kind of like chain looking ones. And then these two. I think these are super cute. I can't even remember how much these were. For all four of these, it was $7.99. So cheap. And these are, I feel like these are really cute. I really like the kind of like chain link looking ones. Okay. I will say this definitely doesn't, unless this is like a child's finger. Can you see, can you see that ring? And this, like, definitely not the same. But, so cute. Next up, what do we got? Oh. So my tree, which I still haven't shown you, because I want, here's the thing, I want to make sure, like, it's daytime and it's, like, good lighting when I show, like, my Christmas decor. And I just haven't been home during the day yet. But I have felt ornaments. Um, I don't know, I've just been kind of into that look. And so I found these really cute felt green candy canes that I think I'm gonna like hang around the tree. Ah, oh, these are so cute, look at that. Stop, this is freaking adorable. Big fan, big fan. Two for two is not bad. I have no idea what this is. Hmm? Earmuffs. <laughs> I have zero memory of ordering these. Dude, I did not order these. But it says my name. This is not my mail. I'm confused. <sighs> my light just died. Show must go on. This says my name. Things took a weird turn. Oh, okay, I did order this. I feel like all over my TikTok, all I've been seeing is ice rolling. So I got the little ice roller mold. I'm actually really excited to try this because I feel like people rave about it and that it's like so good for your skin. So um, the only thing is like, I feel like I'm a little like, I have some sensory issues. Like I, I need to be either fully submerged in water or completely dry. Like I don't like when I'm like, my hands are just like, I'm so sorry. Like I don't like when my hands are just like slightly wet. Oh my god. I'm going downhill fast. Okay, this one, yes. What is in Big Daddy? I got a sheet of artificial snow that's gonna go on my little media center and then that's where I'm gonna put the Lego Christmas houses with lights and stuff. So it's like kind of like a little Christmas village. Um, so I got the snow for that. <laughs> Look at this. This isn't like Lego brands, but um, it's Christmas ornaments where it's like little light bulbs and you build 
little things inside. So there's like a nutcracker, a gingerbread house, a reindeer, Santa. That looks like a koala, man. A dog maybe? But these are so cute. I can't wait to build these and put them on the tray. See, then I'm like, does that go away from like the felt vibe? It's very different. You best believe I'm gonna figure it out. I'm very confused about these earmuffs. See, I got these earmuffs, but I'm missing my Christmas trees, which I've been waiting for for forever because that's what I'm gonna decorate like the main thing on the wall with. <sighs> TBA. Yes, this is saying that this package is my Christmas trees, but it's freaking earmuffs. What does that mean? What do I do? I'm upset. 50,000 on my head is disrespect. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to go get on with customer service, who I actually, actually love Amazon's customer service. I feel like it's very helpful, even though I'm pretty sure it's a computer. I feel like I make friends every time. I feel like this was possibly boring because it was just literally my skincare and some Amazon packages. Today was just a crazy day and I'm just proud of myself for still putting something up because again, y'all, months without posting and now this is my third video in a row. Tomorrow will be more fun though because I am going out to LA all day because it's a podcast day. So that'll be fun to film and I'll show you guys like the studio and all the stuff that goes into our Mondays, which have become so much fun because I feel like me and Ash don't really see each other as much since I moved a little farther, but I still go out to LA at least once a week um, for a podcast, so it's kind of nice that that's like built in, and we record our podcast, we record Supercast, and then we also try to get some content, and we'll get like coffee or lunch or whatever, so I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I love you all so much. Thanks for just hanging out, you know? I hope that this was still entertaining. Good night.